This video will review the triangle sum theorem. From our working class, we know that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. This becomes known as the triangle interior angle sum theorem. We'll abbreviate this with the triangle sum theorem. It's good enough just to use the symbol for triangle, sum theorem. And this is what we'll be using in class. The triangle sum theorem says, again, for any triangle, it does not matter what type of triangle, whether it be obtuse, acute, or right, any triangle, the sum of the three angles inside, that's the key part, must be interior angles, will always add to be 180. So for this picture, I could say, given triangle ABC, the measures of angles A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is 180 degrees. The reason is that triangle sum theorem. You need to write that down when you use this idea. That's your justification, and that's what gets you credit. Now we're going to look at a series of examples to help us understand how the triangle sum theorem works. When you do these, don't forget that justification. Anytime you set up an angle relationship, you need to explain how it came about. That's our justification or our proof. I'm going to work the first three examples out with you, and then I'm going to pause and let you work the bottom three out. So let's take a look at our top three problems. Each of these represents a triangle, and each of these gives me the interior angles. Some of these give me um, two known angles, the second one only gives me one known angle. The third one just tells me that all three angles are x. Now, when we do these, all three are going to be triangle sum theorem. We know we're doing triangle sum theorem because we're trying to find at least one of the missing interior angles. So let's begin. In problem A, I know that one angle is x, one angle has a measure of 60 degrees, and one angle has a measure of 90 degrees. Because of triangle sum theorem, those three angles have to add to be 180. So I would say either 90 plus 60 plus x equals 180, or you could change the order and say that x plus 60 plus 90 equals 180. The order here is not really important. The idea is it has to equal 180. The sum is 180. Now to solve it, we'll combine like terms. 90 degrees plus 60 degrees is 150 degrees, which when we subtract from both sides, leaves me the measure of that angle x is 30 degrees. Now in the second problem, they only gave me one known angle. But they told me something about the other two angles, so I can still do this. I know something about all three angles. Here, the 80 degree angle plus each of the x angles, so 80 plus x plus x, add to be 180. Combining like terms, we get 2x plus 80 equals 180. Subtracting 80 from both sides, we get 2x equals 100 degrees. And then dividing by 2, we find that each of those x have a measure of 50 degrees. Now the last problem didn't give me the measure of any of the interior angles. Instead, they said they're all x. Now I can still do this because I do know something about all three angles. Each of them are equal, and they all equal whatever x is. So here, we would say that x plus x plus x equals 180. Do not go straight to 3x. You need to tell me what each angle is. If you just say 3x, I don't know where that came from. The original problem did not list 3x. Now, when you solve it, we'll combine like terms and say 3x adds to be 180. Again, don't start with this. Triangle sum theorem says the sum of the three angles you need to start by showing the three angles added up. Then to solve it, 3x equals 180, which means we'll divide by 3, and find that each of those angles is 60 degrees. This is an equal angular triangle. Equal angular means all three angles have the same measure. 60 plus 60 plus 60 will always be 180. Now for the next three examples, I want you to try these on your own. I want you to pause the video, work them out, and then check your answers. Be careful what's given on uh, problem F. Something's a little bit different there, and see if you can find a way to solve it. Don't give up on it. Try it first, and then when you're ready, resume play on the video. I'll pause for a moment. All right, hopefully you've actually had a chance to work these out. Now in problem D here, I see that we're given a 20 degree angle and we're given X. Some people sometimes miss that we have that right angle box. The right angle box gives me another number. It tells me that the angle on the bottom left is 90 degrees. So when I solve this, I know that the x plus the 90 degree angle plus the 20 degree angle add to be 180. That's triangle sum theorem. 90 plus 20 is 110. Subtracting 110 from both sides, we get that the measure of that unknown angle, x, is equal to 70 degrees. Now problem E has the triangle extended a little bit. But it doesn't matter because the three things that are marked, the x, the 62 degree angle, and the 50 degree angle, are all inside the triangle. That means they're all interior angles. 
so we can ignore that little piece on the outside. We don't need it. Here, x plus 50 plus 62 add to be 180, and again it's by triangle sum theorem. They're all angles inside the triangle. Combining like terms, 50 plus 62 is 112 degrees, so 112 plus x equals 180. Subtracting 112 from both sides, we find that that unknown angle is 68 degrees. Now the last problem is a little bit trickier, and there's a couple different ways to do this. Based on what we know in this video right now, we're going to go triangle sum term. However, that 120 degree angle is an exterior angle. It's not inside the figure. Because it's not in the figure, we can't use that 120 degrees when we do triangle sum theorem. Instead, I really need this other angle, which I'll call angle Y. That's the missing interior angle. Now, I can't call it angle X because I already have an X. You can't add that same variable when it already exists, so you've got to pick a different variable. So try to do this problem. I'm looking at angle Y going, well, I can't do triangle sum theorem right away because that would be x plus y plus 70. That's too many variables. However, I know that that y and that 120 make a straight angle. That means they're a linear pair. So I'm going to start by finding the measure of angle y using a linear pair. I know that y plus 120 is 180, which means that y equals 60 degrees. Now that I know y is 60 degrees, now I can do triangle sum theorem. I can say that the x, which was the original problem, plus the 70 that was in the original problem, plus the 60, which I just figured out, add to be 180. And I can combine my like terms and say that x plus the 130 equals 180, which means x has to be 50 degrees. Now there is another way to do this, and that's exterior angle theorem, but we'll save that for another video. Hopefully this video helps you understand triangle sum theorem, and thank you for watching.